Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so warm here lately. It is February. It is no business being this warm. All the snow melted, but I'm not complaining. And also, I'm on Daisy. I'm so happy I love her so much. I've been getting to write her a lot lately and it honestly just warms my heart. Let's go find her and we'll get her ready for a lesson. Hi, sweet lady. Oh. Don't She's dirty. Hi guys, welcome back to another Ride With Me vlog. As I mentioned, I'm on the lovely Miss Daisy once again. I am so happy. I went so long without riding her and now I'm getting her back to back, which is so fun for me. Daisy is absolutely perfect in every way possible. I cherish my rides on her because she is literally the perfect horse. Today I'm tacking up Daisy in the cross ties. Usually we just do it in the stalls so she can like chill, have some hay while we get ready. But the stalls are full so we're gonna do the cross ties today. So all the horses have already started to shed, which is crazy because it's only February, but the weather has been so warm lately. If you're from Ontario, you know how crazy the weather can be here. It can be spring one week and then winter the next. Um, so to be honest, I'm not expecting this to be the end of winter just yet, although it is nice to have some warmer weather. Uh, <laughs> Although the downside from going to cold weather to really warm weather is that there is so much mud at the barn right now. Luckily the mare's field is not that muddy so Daisy's legs are okay but I am going to wait until after our ride to brush her legs once all the mud has dried. Oh, gorgeous! Okay, I think this is the one. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So my friend has kindly offered me to use her pink saddle pad on Daisy and it just suits her so well and it has these little like gem detailings along the side and it's just so cute. Daisy looks so good in that color. So now I'm just putting a cooler on Daisy before I bridle her. Although it is warmer, it still is winter, so gotta make sure she stays warm. Isn't she just so perfect? That took literally two seconds to bridle her. She's a star. Okay. Yep. Now that we're both suited and booted, it is time to head into the arena and start our lesson. Days like this make me so excited for summer riding. I cannot wait until we can ride in the outdoor arena. As always, I'm doing my prep steps before getting on, checking the bridle, checking the girth, checking the stirrups before we get on.
Guys, just look at the sun shining through. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. And just walking around, I'm like, geez, it's hot in here. So I'm just going to very skillfully take my sweater off while mounted and put it aside. Picking up the trot now, we're just gonna trot around a couple laps to warm up before we do any sort of pull work or exercises. Um, something that I wanted to work on from my last lesson to my next lesson with Daisy was specifically in the canter. Last time I rode her, she was braking a lot in the canter. Daisy already tends to slow down quite a bit on corners um, and I just didn't have enough leg on her last time and she was braking a lot, so this time, I really want to make sure that I have more leg on her and that doesn't happen again. So for changing direction, we can either cross the diagonal or do the reverse. So I'm going to be fancy today and try the reverse. Leg, 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 bend your knee. Your right knee with a little Okay. So lately we have been working a lot on our half seat in our lessons and I like to think that's in preparation for us to start jumping. I do really think that we're going to start jumping soon. Any day now guys, any day. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> So we've been working a lot on our canter transitions, our canter pulls, our half C, and those are all things that my trainer said that we needed to do a little bit more of before we start jumping. So, you know, I got a feeling. Ankle needs to hold on. So this is the first time where we've done raised trot pulls where they progressively get higher. The first one is on the ground, the second one is slightly raised, and then the third one is raised even just a little bit higher than that. And of course, when we're going over the pulls, we are holding our two-point position. Daisy is so cute going over the poles. Look at her pick up her little feet. Oh, canter. <laughs> So that is something that I do struggle with coming down from my canter transition, canter to trot, and as well as coming out of two points. Um, going over poles is I just get like a little stiff and then get a little bit bouncy, so I need to focus on having more movement through my joints. Okay, so now we're just doing the same exercise going the other way, and this time all three poles are raised.
now we're just taking a quick little walk break. Let the horses catch their breath before we get ready to canter. And of course, before we canter, I'm going to double check my girth, see if it needs to be tightened. In this case, I'm just gonna go up one hole on the one side for Daisy. Doesn't need to be any tighter than that. That should be good. Which way do you wanna go? Left. Left? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Left is fine. How about we go left for a couple laps? Easy. I didn't know what you guys were talking about at first. I was like, what? What happened? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I see videos of me cantering and I'm like, but it doesn't feel like I'm doing that. Oh my goodness, guys. So that is the bane of my existence, I swear. I just have a major problem with turning out my left foot specifically when I canter. I don't know what it is, but it's a problem. And literally every time I canter, my trainer corrects it. I'm working on it. I swear. It's just, it's really hard for me. I don't know. Sorry, I have 100% concentration on my feet. <laughs> okay, so we missed our corner where we were supposed to cross the diagonal and do the simple lead change. I was thinking about my feet, so we'll go again. One thing about Daisy, she's a schoolmaster. She knows her job very, very well. So there, she did the simple lead change. I didn't do it. <laughs> so that's one thing about riding Daisy is that sometimes she does things for you. Was my heel better? <laughs> How'd that feel? Uh, good, but strange. <laughs> I blame it on my upbringing as a dancer. <laughs> yeah. Miss Irina would be so proud. Okay, so that was not bad. Working on my pointed out toes and we only broke to trot once. So, so far doing better than last time. Our right, to the right and we will canter our red pole. And then either do a circle before or after your red pole. Okay, so next exercise, we are working on canter poles and our canter circles as well.
easy. So yeah, something else that I do really need to work on as well is I tend to lean quite a bit when doing our circles, so I need to focus on correcting that. Okay, let's do a quick course. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Uh, okay, let's do left leg canter at A, down the long side, over your red pole. <laughs> Simple lead change to the middle to the right knee. Right knee canter circle. Back to trot at C. Trot across the diagonal over your green poles, and then halt at B. Okay, I guess that means I'm first. And then I'll forget it as soon as I'm out there. Oh, I thought it was circle first. Yeah. Told you I'd forget. Let's forget about the <laughs> off course. What do I get? <laughs> that gives you too much time to slow down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it takes away the challenge of going from can to the trot. But, all things considered. Girl Daisy, you're so good. <laughs> Okay, so a couple fumbles there in terms of breaking stride and obviously some things I need to work on, my stiff leg and my leaning during my canter circles, but these are all good things that I can take away for my next lesson. And honestly, I think we did really, really well today. I think we did a lot better than we did the last time I rode Daisy. So I'm proud to say that I more or less accomplished what I set out to do. Obviously, there's always things that I can continue to work on. That's the whole point, but we had such a good lesson today and I'm so happy with her. Daisy did so, so well. Daisy is in the next lesson, so I don't have any post duties to do. Obviously, I'm gonna stay and do poop duty if I don't have to look after a horse and that is all, but thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs> That's great. It's so hot. Oh, that's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a baby.